Welcome back to Layers of Cakes. I'm Cakes and today I'm going to teach you how I canned more Asian pears. <laughs> Imagine that, more Asian pears. So I am using Ball Blue Book Guide to Preserving. Um, it's very limited. As you can see, there's not very many recipes, but it does have some good bases uh, for the recipes. The recipe that it has for it canning the Asian pears and apple juice. I am actually going to modify it. So the recipe calls for one to one and a half pounds per pint. So I'm not going to use a pint. I'm going to use a quart size uh, jar. And so I'm going to extend the time for processing. And then it also calls for a cinnamon stick in each one. I'm going to leave the cinnamon out of a few of them because my son doesn't really like cinnamon. He's still little and so his taste buds are still overdeveloped. And so the cinnamon is actually pretty strong for his taste buds. And I know apple juice is very acidic, but I'm over compulsive. So I'm adding a little bit of uh, lemon juice to each quart just to help with the acidic level because the pears are so low in acid. Um, it's not necessary, it's something you don't have to add, but I am going over precautions. Hopefully it doesn't alter the taste too much. And um, well, let's get started and let's see what happens. These are the materials you're going to need. I have my recipe book. There's a recipe, you can freeze it and copy it if you like. And I put aside 17 pounds of pears water and the fresh fruit and a couple containers so I can put my scraps in. Those are just extra things I got excited for other recipes. A cutting board, a peeler, and a knife. Your pot for water, your pot for applesauce, and your pot for canning. And I am sterilizing my jars. And then your cinnamon sticks, unsweetened apple juice, organic preferably, and the lemon juice. Again, not necessary. First, add fresh fruit to your water to keep the pears from browning. And then you peel and core your pears and chop them into small pieces and cook them. These cooked for about 10 minutes and heat your apple juice while you're doing it. Out of 17 pounds, I ended with three and a half pounds. This is the remainder and my scraps. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish processing them. So you put a cinnamon stick in with the apple juice and pears. You do not have to add the lemon juice. I just add it because I'm being over precautious. It looks so tasty. So there are the pears and you simply pour hot apple juice over the pears. You don't need any sweeteners because this combination is sweet enough. And you can add your cinnamon stick if you want. You don't have to. And again, my compulsion and adding lemon juice. Not necessary. Make sure to push down and get all the air bubbles out. And clean and sterilize the top of your lid using vinegar. Put your lid on and screw it to where it is tight, but you don't want to screw it too tight. Just hand tighten it. And then I process these for 25 minutes. Clean up as you go so when you're done, you're done. And have dog with you. And 25 minutes later, there we go. They look so good. There is a distinct color difference between the one with the cinnamon and the one without. Now I did let these sit for 24 hours before I touched them. You really want to have that practice when you're canning. If you can only do 12, that's okay. What, three, three and a half hours later, we're done? It was a lot of work. It was a ton of work. It took much longer than I thought it would, but when you're preser preserving food for your family, 
it's going to take a while. What a blessing. So let's find out how they taste. I'm interested to see if they're going to be good. Well, they're nice and tender. My family are gonna devour these. They're so good. They're really soft. I think I cooked them the right amount of time. With Asian pears, you do need to cook them longer because they're much firmer. But these are really tasty. My husband's gonna love the one with the cinnamon. Thanks for joining me today as we can. Asian pears. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. I hope you're able to do it on your own and I will see you next time.